Yo, what's up guys, it's Redfish here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get outside of every level in Big Scary. So let's just jump right into this. Starting out with the lobby and the shop and like level 1, this whole giant area. So some people go to level 2, but I like to go to level 13. Now when you're here, and you spawn in the middle, you're gonna walk forward in real life as far as you can. And then you're gonna hold down your Oculus button so it recenters, and then it'll push you back. And now you just walk back a little bit more than where you normally would play. And you'll see that I spawn back here. But I need to go outside of the map, not right here. So I need to get outside of right here. So to do that, you're just gonna enable turn, and then you're gonna turn this so that, like, now when you hit the button, it'll teleport you here. It's a little difficult to understand, but you should be able to get it. So let me just redo that. I did it again! Okay, so it keeps spawning me, like, behind here, right here. So I'm gonna use my smooth turn again to make it so that that does not happen. And once again, it is a little difficult to understand what's really happening with the smooth turn and the recentering and everything. But if you do it enough, you should learn. So now this time, I should spawn just barely outside. There we go. And now you're outside of the lobby. So now you can go over here, take your arm out, you know. You can go into voxel horror mode early. You can go to the exit, it's pretty skibbity. And now if you want to go down to the shop, you can just drop down like this. And you can go in the fishbowl, but we'll get back to that later. You can get behind this door, go onto that path, because it has colliders for some reason. So now when I'm on this yellow slide, I'm going to take my arm through. There we go. And I'm just going to jump into this. And now we're on this weird big boy moderator path. Sadly, there's nothing really behind this door except for some crates. And once you do get in there, you're locked in there forever. And I don't want to get locked in there forever, so I'm just going to take my arm out. So that was only the first way to get outside of the lobbies. There's actually two more ways that I know of. So as you might know, if you try to do the backrooms glitch where it unloads the backrooms, you can see that it was patched. So you cannot get outside of the map that way anymore. But we can still get outside by doing something like that. So just come down the yellow slide in the shop so that you're in here. And now you're going to want to hop onto this. Make sure that your head is not inside of it press your oculus button and then walk in real life this way and if you do it right then you should have the entire pvp thing unloaded now just walk this way and it's not here at all now just come around this climb right up here take your arm out and uh yeah you're outside now you can uh, parkour jump to here and this is just another way that you can get outside of the shop in level 1 and all that good stuff. And I might as well show you guys now that uh, Big Scary broke again and you can go inside of the fish tank. Even though we're not a moderator or beta tester. And I don't have the content creator hat as you can see so <laughs> literally anyone can go in there. But real quick before we continue on with the glitches let me tell you guys something. I made a community post saying that if I hit 10,000 subscribers before May, then I would face reveal. So if you guys want to see my face, then subscribe. It helps me out a ton, and you guys get to see my face reveal. Maybe if we hit 10,000. So here's the third glitch that I know of. If you go behind these boxes, like these crates right here, you can sometimes clip out. It is a little bit difficult, and... That's all I gotta say. So now it's time for level two. For level two, you just wanna do the boundary glitch backwards, so then when you hit it, you spawn right outside. There's not much out here, but it's still pretty fun to just run around. You can also see the end of the world. And this green stuff just ends. And you can see all of the buttons. That is so weird. For level 3, you just want to do the same thing, but be more careful, because this one doesn't have a little platform outside of the map. It's literally just nothing is there. But you should always be careful glitching outside of the map, because you don't want to fall. Alright, this should be good, and- ah! No! Yeah, as I was saying, be careful when glitching outside of the map. So let me just try that again. 
Yes! Okay, so you can see we're outside of level 3. There's not really much to do out here. But it's still pretty cool just being outside. Now for level 4, you also need to do a boundary glitch. But you need to have a pretty decently big boundary. Because this is where you normally spawn. Which means you have to walk all the way out there. Okay, this should be good. Maybe. Ah, frick! Well, I fell back outside of the map and I punched my wall, so... Yeah. Bruh. Alright, we got it this time. Come on. Yes! It's pretty cool being outside of level 4. And you can do some really cool things. For example, you can go above that glass. But first, I gotta get down there. It's speedrun time. Okay, now we're over here. Finally, that took so long. We gotta be kinda careful here because, uh, it's really easy to get inside of the map. Okay. Take my arm out. Uh-oh. No. No! No! Oh my gosh, I got back inside of the map. Well, anyways, you can get up there. I failed, but it's actually not too bad. I'm just trash at the game. Now for level 5, and you guessed it, we have to do the boundary glitch. So there's actually not much to do in this level if you want to go in there, but you can do something cool if you get past this glass. As you can see, we're behind the glass in level 5, and it's just like this black texture which we've never seen in Big Scary. And then you might think that this is a giant monster or like giant rat, but no, it's literally just two lights. Also, really weird texture. And then there's like a secret tunnel, it's so weird. And uh, we have to restart our game to get out of here. Bruh. Now it's time for level six. And once again, we gotta do the boundary glitch. It seems that the boundary glitch is the only way to get outside of all of these. There we go. Uh oh, I have two hands. <laughs> yeah, there's really not too much out here. Just the back sides of the houses. <laughs> oh my god. Now for level 7, and of course you have to do the boundary glitch. I mean, what did you think? It was gonna be easy? And level 7 is actually really cool to get outside of. What? I'm loading- I have- I have level 7 and level 8 loaded. So if you wanna do something really cool, you need to speedrun down here. Make sure that the monsters are not chasing you. Until you get here, and then you can climb right over to this. And now you can take your arm out. There we go. And now you want to walk outside of the map on this big pipe. And now you can see the pizza place. And probably the coolest thing about this is that you can actually go and make the pizza. Hold up, I just gotta get the sauce real quick. Ah, there we go. Drag it on over. Now we gotta get the cheese. There we go. And this guy actually has colliders. Come on, Rat. Yeah, spam W Chef Rat in comments. But yeah, this is probably one of my favorite levels to get outside of. And then you can get right back outside from the pizza place. And if you want, you can jump down and get outside of level 8. I'm gonna try it. Oh. I think I did it. Let's just drop down right here. Yeah, we're outside of level 8. But if you didn't make that risky jump, I will also show you how to get outside of level 8. Can you guys guess how to get outside of it? It's the boundary glitch! Yay! I'm starting to get sick of this boundary glitch. So yeah, basically just do the boundary glitch and you're outside. But if you want to explore outside, you need to come just barely past the safe zone, right at this crack. And then go like this, pull your arm down. It's a little difficult, and then pull your head under, and then take your other arm out. And now you're outside of level 8. You can also go under the map and just parkour on the trees, but I'm not doing that because I'm a little baby. Bruh. I'm just kidding, I'll do it. Go like this, and then take your arm through. It's a little sketchy. Ah! Yeah, these trees just go like forever under the map. It's not actually forever, but they do go pretty far. Look at me, guys. I'm branching under the map. It's so... I don't like it down here. Ah! 
I don't want to fall. Uh, no, no! Oh my gosh. That was so scary. I'm going back inside the map. Let's go. I'm safe. Oh my gosh. That was so scary. <laughs> Alright, it's time for level 9. Now, this one is actually different. Because when you try to do the boundary glitch in level 9, you just it's clip me, right out Pumpkey of the house. The pump Shut pump up, Pumpkey the Pumpkin. Nobody asked. Now, because we spawn in this house, that means that we cannot get outside of the map from here. But you can be inside of the house, which is really weird. So to actually get outside of level 9, you have to get outside of level 8. And to do that, you do the boundary glitch. Now just walk over here to the end of level 8. Now when you're here, do a light jump off. Very light. It's <laughs> me, Pumpkin the Pumpkin. And now you should be outside of level 9. But if you want to take things to a whole nother level, you're going to need to go to the exit outside of the map. Okay, so now when you make it to the end, just be pretty careful going down this. Okay, now you just want to be extremely careful. And then jump! And now you're under the freaking pumpkin. And now if you want, you can wall run on there and get under level 9. Now, I'm not going to do that because I still have more levels. In fact, I still have 7 more! But whatever, I guess. Alright, so to get outside of level 10, I'm pretty sure you can do the boundary glitch, but I'm not sure how well that works. So I'm just going to make a jump for it. Whee! Ah! No! Bro, this is like my 7th time restarting my game. Alright, well, I guess I'll just try to get outside with the boundary glitch. Bro! So yeah, as you guys can see, level 10 is being a little skibbity. But I do think if I do something, like walk really far, I think you can get outside. Oh! I was outside! Okay, this is possible. I just had to walk really far. Okay, so now... Basically what I did is I used my turn and I turned it like twice to the left. And now, let's see... Okay, not bad. I gotta go a little further though. No! Big scary Easter. Man, what the skibbity Ohio Riz? Alright, I'm not gonna fall outside of the map this time. Alright, watch, I'm not gonna fall. Let's go! I was almost outside though, so this time I think I will be. Or just. Bro. I don't wanna restart my game again! Okay, we got this this time. Okay, I need to like... Yes! We're outside of level 10 at last. Oh my goodness, that took so long. And there's not even too much out here. Alright, well now it's time for level 11, I guess. So for level 11, there's a couple different things that you can do. And both of the ways require your boundary. So the first way is to just teleport to level 11 and get outside of right here. Which, if you don't have, like, a kind of big boundary, is gonna be a little difficult to do. But I'm just gonna do that real quick and show you guys. There we go. Alright, so, you know, we got the red slide. You know, it's nothing too crazy, but it's a red slide. No! Alright, you know what? You can get outside that way, but it's not even really that good. So now, if you don't have a big boundary, you can, uh, use turn. And you can turn this so you can walk, like pretty far in any direction and then you want to recenter okay so now right here you're going to want to walk in real life as far as you can this way and then you want to die <laughs> there we go and if you do it right you should be outside of level 11 so now what i do is i just speed run over here to oh my gosh i can't move so you want to come over here, you want to take your arm out, and then when you do that, put your other hand right here so you don't go back into the map. And now you want to do this kind of risky jump to up here. Make sure your hand is on the very top, because if it's like on a side like that, your hand will get back inside of the map. And uh, yeah, now you're outside of level 11, and it's really fun. These pipes, bro, they go on for so long. Hasbula! So do not touch Hasbula, don't do that, oh my gosh. Alrighty, time for level 12. So for level 12, just do the boundary glitch, like always. And then just come over here and take your arm out. 
And then you used to be able to jump there, but then Shrek patched it and added the you broke the rules up there. And then for some reason he took it away, so now you can just go up here. It's pretty cool up here. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? So the next level is level 13, which of course you have to <laughs> use the boundary glitch. Boom. No! Every time I every time I teleport back to the lobby, it's so scary. Okay, so we're outside of the map, and there's really not much out here. Okay, now it's time for level 14. This level is one of the easiest, if not the easiest level to get outside of. Just do the boundary glitch, obviously. Then you should teleport outside. What the? As I was saying, should teleport outside. So if you walk down here outside of the map, you can go over here, take your arm out, and then quickly grab onto this. Now jump to here. Now jump right here. Ah! No! Okay, so now you can run like this. Dude, I swear. Yo! You can even go inside of like the blue has Bula cage. It's really fun. But now I gotta go to level 15. For level 15, just do the boundary glitch as always. And then with turn, you wanna make this do a complete 180 like that. So when you're teleporting there, you teleport like that. And don't do that! Alright, let's not fall outside of the map. Let's go! Now, I would personally put this probably in one of my top three favorite maps to glitch out of. It's just so fun. And you can also go inside of the rat room and stuff, just really fun. So from here, I jump to here, and then I climb up. Now, I know people take their arm out right here, but I just get my hand over this. Alright, there we go, and then pull it through. And now we're just completely outside of the map. It's so fun! For anyone who likes glitches, I really recommend glitching out of level 15. And now it's time for the final level. Level 16. Ah! And in this level, there's really not too much. I mean, like, I guess you can go where the train is. But what I like to do is I like to glitch into the exit. But you gotta jump over this thing, which is really hard. Then you gotta speed run. And then you have this giant wall, which you just go on the other side of. But it's also fun to climb up this. And now you're on top of the map and you can be outside of level 15 and 16 at the same time. Guys, watch this. I'm outside of level 15 and now I'm outside of level 16. <laughs> now it says reset your boundary before going in the train. But if you don't do that into the boundary glitch, you can be outside of the train. And this is so fun, oh my gosh. So you can see this wall back here which you can't get over until this opens and then you speed run now. <laughs> Let's go. So you can kind of like vertical slash Lucio run up to the top of this wall. And that's just so weird. And if you're wondering, no, there's no level 17. I've gotten outside of the level over there. There's no level 17. It's so sad. I wish there was a level 17. And if you want to go back and explore everything that we just went through, you just got to jump whee, over that little gap. And now you can just explore. <laughs> Dude, what is this doing here? You can see this hole which you can actually jump into. Oh Yeah, I also forgot to tell you guys you have to restart your game when you get in here Because if I try to like go over this you can see it's blocked off from there and it's also blocked off from the bottom So we're literally just stuck in here. Oh my gosh This is skibbity toilet and now we're back at the beginning and there's no train and no way out so I have to restart my game for like the 20th time. Well guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This took so long to record and it was so difficult getting outside of every level. So please leave a like and subscribe. Make sure to try this out and get me to 10k so I can face reveal. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. I swear, I don't want to get Game Man jump scared again. Nope. No! No! Please! Stop it! 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 Stop it!
Bro, you have the creator hat? I left the creator hat. Let's make sure you're recording. I'm the creator hat. 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 I